<laughs> All right, in this video, we'll go over how to transfer coordinates that are on your GPS onto a map. So let's say that we are out hiking and we don't have any preloaded maps on our GPS. We need to find out on the map where we are or try to find uh, uh, an area to navigate to. So uh, if we're out hiking, we probably should have uh, the backups such as the paper map and a compass so that we can use our map and compass skills. Um, in order to do this, you can use any handheld uh, GPS. Uh, the only uh, GPS devices that probably won't work for this example is uh, a Forerunner and also an iPhone type of device. We won't be able to use that, so these are out. However, we can use a, a four-year-old uh, Garmin Legend or the brand new Map 62. So in this example, we'll use the Garmin Map 62. And before we get going, we need to do some changes to the setup. Uh, on the GPS, both either of the, the Garmin Legend or the Map 62. That's because when we get a GPS out of the box, there are certain default settings that are set to display the coordinate system. Now, for most consumers, we don't have to worry about it. Take it out of the box, open it up, it works for us. But if you're search and rescue, fire, military, and if you're using maps, you need to change the GPS to the same format that the map is laid out as. Otherwise, you won't have the same coordinate format. Also, you won't have the same map calculations, and that will result in being very off track. So first thing we need to do is take a look at our map. Here's the map that we have, and we need to go down to our map legend. and. I'm going through this uh, fast. There's a lot more uh, into uh, map uh, map reading, which I'll probably do at some point. Uh, so, but the big thing that we need to look at in our legend is these uh, these couple lines here: North America Data 83 and Universal Transverse Mercator Grid, and also Zone 20. That's really important because these are the settings that we need to adjust in our GPS so that we can properly figure out where we're at. So, in order to do this. We'll just uh, go to our uh, main menu and we'll go to our setup and we'll scroll down to position format. And position format, so the position format, as I said, that's out of the box. If you're doing geocaching, Google Earth, Google Maps, this is a default setting which works fine, but for us, we need to change it and what we need to change it to is uh, the Universal Traverse Mercator Grid, otherwise known as UTM. So we have a lot of position formats. Position format is simply uh, you know, the, the way you write out coordinates. They all mean the same thing, but they're written out differently. So just like uh, when you see a phone number, sometimes you get the brackets, sometimes you get the dashes or dots. You know, there's different ways you can write a uh, phone number, but it's the same phone number. Same thing with the position format. So let's say we scroll down. I'm using the out button to scroll down per page, and we actually want to find the UTM grid right here. That's done. Now the next thing we need to change is the datum. This is the, the, um, the more technical aspect of map making where the, uh, the calculations to lay out position on the, more, on, the, on, the, on the map differs, and this is the important one to change. So we here we have WGS84. The one that we really need to change is the North American Datum 83, otherwise known as NAD 83. So we need to scroll up to there. There you go, done. Notice that the sphere wood's changed. So now we have our map configured so that we can see our position on the map. All right, now that we've set up the uh, format and the datum of our GPS to match uh, the map, we're now ready to take uh, a set of coordinates from the GPS and plot it on the map. So we can see here, I, uh, I'm using a geotagged image uh, of uh, the visitor center of the national park that this is, uh, this is the map that's for. And you can see here that uh, we have the coordinates listed here. The 20 that you see all along, that's the zone 20. And we have the top row, which is our easting coordinate. 
and uh, the second row, which is our northern coordinate. And uh, what? Uh, how do we read uh, the coordinates on the map? Well, I'm just going to write down the coordinates here on a piece of paper. And I also uh, sketched out on a piece of paper uh, the scale right here. So we're, this is... Um, this is a one to 50,000 uh, scale map. If you're doing search and rescue or hiking or orienteering, you're probably gonna be using a higher scaled map. Uh, one in 25,000, one to 15, one to 10,000. So in order to, uh, to read the map, we take a look at our left corner. Now the trick that I learned how to do this is you uh, walk in the door and you go up the stairs. And if somebody has some better tricks, you can post it in the comments. But basically, you notice here I got a couple of lines here that breaks down the uh, the coordinates. The first two digits of each uh, bearing or coordinate here refers to these the small smaller number here. So, for example, the three refers to the O3, and the 49 refers to the 49 right here. So we know where we're at. Take a look at now the next two digits. So for our easting, our next two digits is 24. And that refers to the grid numbers here. So each grid is one kilometer square. So five, six, so we're gonna go all the way down to 24. There's 24. And now that we've walked through the door, we're gonna go up the stairs. So next two numbers here is 23. And that refers to our numbers here, 23. So let's go all the way up to 23. There's 23, and if we uh, go over to 24, where we're at, bam, right here. That's 23 and 24, and you can see on the map, there's our visitor center right there. Now, because of the scale of the map, we're not exactly at the right spot, but we're in the general vicinity. So if we wanted to plot our position closer, we take a look at the next two digits, five and three. So Basically what that means here is we take uh, our easting, there's our 24, and we simply go down five notches, and our northing, we go down three notches. So that kind of brings you down to this area here, around to that area there. So it's not, so five, and then and then three so that is how you find your position on a map using a GPS